Last area is giving. Giving is a very important, important part of stewardship. There are three economies that operate all the time in the world. How many economies? Three economies that operate in the world at all times. The first system is God's system. God's system is built on God giving and receiving. God gives, you receive, I will come back to that. The second system that works in the world is called the world system. The world system is built on borrowing and lending, right? I want to buy a home, you get a loan. I want a school, I get a loan. That's, that's the world system. The third economy is your personal economy. Do you guys know how the economy's doing? However good you're doing. If you got a job, what? The economy doing good. If you ain't got a job, what? Everything's going bad. Then what? You blame it on the president, right? So it's just like whatever happens, there's three economies. There's God's economy, the world's economy, and your personal economy. First of all, God's economy is built on giving and receiving. If you guys read the Bible, Psalms 24 and 1 clearly states this. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein. That means that everything belongs to God. We're just stewards over it. That's why when we tithe, which means that the word tithe means tenth, that means we bring back a tenth, right? Now, some people, I don't know why, say, do I do gross or net? I'm totally confused by that question because I'm trying to find out, what's God got to do with the U.S. tax revenue code? <laughs> right? Little nothing, right? The Bible was made way before people started doing all that. And, and, and IRS, we get into how that was just for wars and things. But anyway... It's obviously gross because it also says that give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Also in Malachi 3 and 10, it says bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. So what happens is you guys never, just watch what you, what you say. You never pay tithes. See, God owns everything. So all you're doing is bringing it back. Does that make sense? Let me give you an example. And by the way, by the way, everybody, don't, don't, get, don't get jealous. I'm going to show you my car keys here. You know, I got, you know, I got an eight-passenger Bentley, you know, <laughs> made by Honda. Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna, you know, it's keys to a minivan, everybody. Don't get too, don't get nervous. So let's just say, let me give you an example. Let's just say I saw uh, this man walking to church, and he had his kids with him. And I said, and I was going to travel. Me and my wife were traveling. I came to him. I said, hey, Melvin, I'm going to be traveling. I saw how you were walking to church and everything. Hey, I'm going to let you use my car. Okay, for the next, next two weeks, next week. Then what would happen if next Sunday, Melvin ran down this aisle and said, hey, everybody, I have to make an announcement. I'm going to give Pastor George Thompson a car. <laughs> what would you all think? Okay, I hear, okay, that's funny. He's crazy. Okay, that's one. <laughs> Second is, it's already my car. Thank you. You guys. That's what you do when you give. You're not giving God something new. He blessed you. No, 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 no. Quiet is kept. No. I know you're talented. I know you're the best person on the job. I know your company can't work with you. But you know what? God gave you life in that abundantly. Let me just talk to you as an employee, and I'm going to talk to you as a business owner. As an employee, you already know, half of you weren't qualified when you got the job. God just blessed you with the job. There's been jobs, I've been like, what am I doing here? Look at all kinds of smart people. Everybody that owns a business, anyone that is an actor, anyone that does that, you know that God blessed you with that. I know you're cute. I know you think you're talented. But you understand that God don't have to do that. He chose you because when they, actually, you guys want to know something? When they choose you to be an actor, they're not, they're not picking you, they're not looking at your face. They're actually getting your whole essence. Ephesians 2 and 10. God made you unique so that you could be used in that, in that area. So all I'm saying, I'm saying that just, that just that you just acknowledge that. Every time that you get a gig, every time that you do something, every time you get a job, every time a customer walks through the door, God sent that person here. Just acknowledge it. That's all. That's all. Because God has a plan. He has a purpose for your life in that area. Amen?